Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechCurrent. Today I'm going to order the CPU throttling test on the iQ7 device after the recent software update by using the Ultra Game Mode. Yes friends, it's my first time doing this kind of uh, test on this iQ7 device. So let me show you exactly the latest version which is a uh, 1.7.12. This is the latest uh, software update which I'm trying to run in this iQ7 device which I received on the August 16th in this device. So I'll try to use the CPU throttling application in the Ultra Game Mode as well as you can see. Let's see, using in the ultra game mode, whether we can actually expect any kind of better performance results or not. So we can actually compare with the previous code. So previously I did upload a video friends on this iQ7 device. So only by using 8 plus 4 GB of RAM, that's it. I did not use any kind of ultra game mode. So without using any kind of ultra game mode, this is a graph and everything we got. But now, today, we are going to use ultra game mode and let's see whether what kind of stability we can actually get and what kind of performance improvement we can actually see in this demonstration. And same settings I'm going to use. So nothing much changed. Everything is pretty same. That's perfectly done. And even I'll try to focus on the temperatures, how much the high temperatures the phone can actually reach by using this kind of testing. So let's start with the first with the temperature check. Right now it's 28 degrees only. So don't think there is any kind of AC or any kind of cooler in the room. So the climate in the Bangalore right now in this location is very cool at this point. My room temperature is also very low. It's only 26 degrees. As you can see friends exactly, but there's no AC, there's no cooler. So I'm not that kind of person as well to use AC and cooler. So that's the one thing I thought of letting you know. So uh, it's very cool right now in the Bangalore at this moment, 26 degrees, as you can see clearly 29.6. Let's see how much higher the temperature can actually reach during this process and how the performance will be there in, in terms of the consistency levels and how much CPU throttling will also happen because before do using any kind of ultra game mode, we did see the CPU total up to 86%. Now, how much percentage we can actually expect? So this is my uh, really interesting test which I'm going to do on this iQ7 device. Let's see the results. Again, I'll be back after maybe close to 5 minutes of time. In 5 minutes of time, we'll get to know the results about the temperatures and about the graph as well. So again, I'll be back after 5 minutes. So right now as you can see friends after getting close to 11 minutes of time the performance let's see what happens with the temperatures it's of close to 39 degrees 39.2 degrees as you can see 39 degrees not bad we're getting that kind of temp temperature 40 degrees on the back side we're seeing 40 degrees as you can see using the ultra game mode so this is what happens the performance will remain really consistent during this time but the temperature slightly will increase a little bit so right now i think we are seeing the cpu throttling maybe kind of close to the previous results so maybe kind of uh, 86 maybe 87 or 88 somewhere around that but the performance code you can see still it's remaining about 3 lakhs only so during the process of demonstration you can clearly see that so it so let's see friends what is the highest minimum and average scores we can actually expect in the cpu throttling so i'll be back after once the test completely finished in this iq7 device as you can see friends, finally we got the results about the CPU throttling on this iQ7 device and it's quite good I would say the CPU throttle only up to 89% as you can see as expected I did kind of came close to 88% kind of thing but it's 89% so using the ultra game mode you should not be worried at all let me to compare with the previous result which I got so this is the today's results 89 and this is the previous result without using any kind of ultra game mode you can see the performance how it is consistent this time as you can see friends it's really good to see this kind of consistent level and the minimum previously it was only 2,72,000 so without using any kind of ultra game mode but by using the ultra game mode it completely dominates the previous results you can see exactly it's kind of minimum is only about 3,7,000 friends that is a minimum score and average is 3,24,000 that's fantastic to see this kind of level of performance in the snapdragon 870 chipset in this phone so after the software update, I did not see any kind of change in terms of the performance levels in this device, at not at all. I did not see any kind of downgrade, I would say. Not only based on the benchmarks, but I need to do the gaming test as well in the Paragon's mobile game. That is another request which a lot of users did ask me because few of them, they are having issues with the Paragon's mobile. I'll definitely focus on that one. So these are the quick details about the CPU throttling. In the CPU throttling, I'm really happy to see this kind of level performance in the iQ7 smartphone. So see you in the next video, friends. I'll straight for more updates. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.